What's up everybody? This is a Pico P3TT DLC with almost 10 gallons through it. It has new bearings and a new connecting rod, but it's not running good. When I check the piston, the piston looks fine. Uh, it doesn't seem to be worn out. You see the line here, still pretty high on the piston. <clears throat> I check the crankshaft and I see some wear here. You can avoid this by replacing the bearings very often and lubricating the bearings with a special uh, bearings oil, very thin oil. <clears throat> but I think that the problem with this engine is that the owner did a homemade repinch and uh, you'll see that there's an issue here let me show you so first I feel some resistance here next here and then I can push it until there after this is a normal pinch after uh, 10 gallons but the resistance that, that, that I feel here and here is not normal. That's due to the homemade repinch. I do not recommend doing that unless your engine is completely worn out. If the engine is completely worn out, why not? Why not trying to repinch your engine? But if you still can get a couple extra liters of your engine and it's still running good don't try to repinch your engine so i'm gonna clean this engine uh, <clears throat> remove the bearings check them really good because well the rear bearings i'm not sure about the rear bearing even if it's a new bearing i'm not really sure the front bearing seems seems fine but i'm not sure about the rear bearing it should run good even if the rear bearing is damaged but uh, yeah I'm not really sure we'll check that clean all these parts in the ultrasonic cleaner the carb the carb seems fine it's not leaking I'm back with the Pico I remove the bearings uh, well I check the front bearing and remove the rear bearing look at this I notice something weird you see that so this bearing is toast it's done this is trash a brand new bearing this is the new one that I, I'm going to install but I'm not sure it's gonna work let me show you why we have some damage in the block so the owner of this engine explained to me that he replaced the bearings as the first time he installed the rear bearing it wasn't sitting uh, properly in the block so that's why we have some damage there look at that so I'm gonna dream all that. Uh, you know this this engine is. Let's be honest, <laughs> this engine is trashed. So I'm gonna dream all that. Try to put a new bearing, and we'll see if it runs. This is how the block looks like after deburring it. Uh, yeah, really, <laughs> I'm not really sure that this engine is gonna run. Uh, probably that rear bearing is gonna fail very quick but who knows who knows maybe maybe it's gonna hold on I, I, I don't know we need to try this I'm very curious now can we save this Pico
all right guys that's it for this video uh, this is the best I can do with this Pico uh, considering the damage on the sleeve due to the homemade repinch uh, the wear of the engine uh, the damage on the block well I think that it's running pretty good the temperature is good it's holding the idle uh, drop to idle is not perfect far from being perfect but I wasn't ex I wasn't uh, expecting uh, this engine to uh, r uh, run this good so yeah I'm pretty happy I think it's worth uh, the new bearing and the time I spent uh, to rebuild it I hope that you enjoyed this video and I see you soon thanks for watching